Many healthcare workers have had to learn some new practices in order to help COVID-19 patients. In tonight's Health Beat, Kettleland Sophie Heidemann is finding out how a recent grant is helping people on the front lines get the training they need. As healthcare workers continue their fight against the coronavirus pandemic, some may be switching specialties to instead treat patients with COVID-19. A lot of providers are being asked to move into those more intensive care unit type settings and manage patients that are in acute respiratory failure. In an effort to help those who need additional training treating those patients, the Helmsley Charitable Trust granted $200,000 to the American Heart Association. Mindy Cook with the AHA says the training is offered digitally. It really is kind of a comprehensive look at um, how to support the oxygenation and ventilation of these patients through their most critical time with COVID-19. South Dakota is just one of seven states benefiting from the grant. And as hospital numbers rise, Cook says the timing is just right. Many physicians and other partners have come to me and said, you know, I'll do anything, but please, I don't want to run a vent ventilator. I've heard that time in and time out from many physicians. And um, this will basically help them get comfortable running a ventilator. Walter Panzier with the Helmsley Charitable Trust says there's a big need for this type of training, and it'll benefit not just healthcare workers, but the people they're caring for. If you're on a ventilator, I'd want my physician to be 100% confident and comfortable, and, and this training will help them get comfortable if they, it's been an absence of the last time they've used a ventilator. With HealthBeat, I'm Sophie Heineman. Cook adds that she has already received positive feedback about the training from local providers.